What are you looking to see from the team when they go down there in terms of progression over the preseason? Well, I think it's an opportunity to play two games. I think that's more important than anything. Obviously, the a little bit more heat, a little bit better conditions to practice and a little bit harder conditions to practice. We do open up our Houston, so I think the environment will be similar to what we're going to open up in. But I think more so it's just to get the team away, get them completely around each other, away from all the distractions in Portland and you know get them together. But the two critical games, I mean, we haven't done much tactical stuff so far, so that's the number one priority when we get this tactics and do all the set pieces and stuff. We haven't worked on set pieces at all yet. Was there a particular reason why you chose Arizona? Um, well, the men had gone to Arizona, so I told Gavin, I said, Gavin, you know, the men went to Arizona, and I don't know, you got to let the girls go too. So he said, oh, we'll look into it. And, you know, I, I, I had been to Arizona about three months ago uh, to do a course, and uh, I felt it was a good place for the team to go. And uh, I was at Casse Grand, which was a really, really great place. And I felt if you could get on those fields for a week or two or ten days and get out of this environment, I think it would really help the team. And he agreed and looked into it, and here we are going to Arizona, so it worked out well. How did you talk about getting away from some of the uh, distractions here? How do trips away like that really help bond the team? Especially, you've got a lot of new players coming together. How does that help bring the team well, together? There's no question. I mean, you're together 24/7. Uh, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, practices twice a day. Uh, you know, you've got video. You're at video at your beck and call. You can call a meeting in the next five minutes, and everybody's down the stairs at the meeting. Um, and I think you can control the other environment too. There's no distractions of family, uh, husbands, wives, or whatever you've got. You know, what I'm saying there's no distractions, including myself. Um, so it's a little bit easier to keep everybody uh, together in, in meetings and you know, we're giving them some free time. I'm hoping they'll spend it together or with whatever they want to do uh, and go and do things on their own. You know, we're trying to do a few things here, but I think that's the foundation for the season. When we come back from Arizona, I would think we'll be a pretty close-knit team. I mean, if you speak to the players now, they'll say they like the team, everybody likes each other. You know, today was a bit... You know, everyone had a little chip on the shoulder today. It's just, you know, ninth day of pre-season, so everyone's a little bit... Not doing the best of things today, but it uh, wasn't one of our better days, that's for sure. But I think I like that little bit of bite, and they st certainly still had that bite today. But I think uh, we need to get away and get away from everybody and get ourselves sorted out for a week. You talk about tactics, you'll obviously have two games there against yeah. Arizona teams and Arizona State University of Arizona. What are you looking for beyond tactics in those matches? Well, I think we're going to play all our different formations. You know, we've got three or four different formations. We like to tweak them each, each game and play differently completely each half of the, of the game and use different groups in it and just see what marriages work for us. You know, obviously, we've got some big central defenders. Will he be able to play alongside each other? Will Rachel be better with Nikki? Will Rachel be better with Cat W or better with Cat Tar? So we've got to try and figure out who's going to match everybody and what fullbacks will be better on the left and the right. Uh, you know, who's going to sit in the defensive mid? Are we going to play three? In, in the midfield, we're going to play four in the midfield. Are we going to play two in the midfield? No, but we want to just make sure that we got everything covered, and we'll play a different formation every half down there for four halves, and then we'll we'll work from there for the last week of the season. There's not a lot of time really. I mean, you really need six weeks preseason. Uh, Caleb had six weeks, I think, so he was lucky. But with four weeks, it's a tough turnaround, I think, to get a team ready, especially with me coming in, obviously new, uh, and a lot of new players on top of it. Half the roster is going to be new, you know.